What is up guys guys and I'm Zero One here with another tutorial. This is going to be a shooting tutorial and what I believe to be the most effective shot in FIFA 15 and that is the ground shot. This is an incredibly effective shot for when the keeper is moving his feet. That allows you to that is the perfect time to take the ground shot. That is a ground shot opportunity. How do you do the ground shot? Well, it's super, super easy. All you have to do is take a shot, but with very, very little power. So usually you want to have it at like one bar or less. That much power, so it just goes right underneath the keeper. Whenever the keeper is moving his feet, when he's rushing out at you, like you're seeing in this clip right here, he's going to be rushing at you, he's going to be moving his feet, he's not going to have time to react. So you take a soft, very soft shot with less than one power, around one bar power, and it goes right underneath his sliding hands, and there's absolutely nothing he can do. So in those breakaway opportunities that you see, that you're just like, man, the goalie always stops it if he brings him out. Um, there's no way I can get that shot in there. What you want to do is take the ground shot, and I will guarantee you at least 90% of the time, at least 90% of the time, it will go right underneath him like you're seeing in these clips, and it'll go right in for that goal. If the ball and the if you notice that there's an opportunity where the ball is going to reach you just before the goalkeeper is going to get to it, do the ground shot. It is the only way you're going to score in that situation. If it's a breakaway, you against the goalie, the ball's going to reach your feet like less than a second before he's going to get to it. You have to take the ground shot, put a very little power into the shot, and it'll go right underneath him and it'll go in and if you're on assisted shooting don't worry it will reach the goal even with that little amount of power the only way that they could stop it is of course if it's such little amount of power and then there's a center back or a defender that's able to get it before the it reaches inside the goal and able to clear it on the back line but the probabilities of that happening are very low and this is a super effective move that i don't see enough people using and I'm telling you right now, you incorporate this into your game, you're going to be that much better. You're going to be able to take advantage of all those opportunities where you're one-on-one -on -one against the goalie. And it doesn't have to be a breakaway opportunity. It can also be when you're passing it around like here and you just end up with the ball right next to the goal and the goalkeeper decides to rush out at you thinking that that's the best opportunity for him to stop you from scoring. You take that ground shot little bit of power right underneath him he's gonna slide right over it in this FIFA especially when the keeper is moving his feet his stats go way down it appears he just doesn't know how to stop the ball so it is a really keen opportunity for you to take the slowest of shots and it'll go right underneath him. He will not be able to react to it. But there are chances that you do not want to take the ground shot. The ground shot is not um, unvulnerable. It is not impenetrable. Like you, There is ways to stop it. And these are the opportunities when the goalkeeper comes out and then he decides to fake you out and try to retreat back to the goal like you saw in that opportunity you will not be able he will be able to recover in time and he will be able to stop the ground shot so if you do think that someone's going to do a ground shot bring out your goalie and then quickly double tap the triangle or the y button and it'll bring the goalie back to the towards the back line and he will take the ground shot and he'll be able to stop it another opportunity if the goalie does not move out to you if the goalie is standing still maintaining his line and like you're seeing in these five following clips if he's just standing there and not rushing out towards you take the power shot take put at least two bars of power into it and hit it towards the near post and you'll score do not take the ground shot there because if he is not moving his feet and he is not rushing out towards you he's going to be able to stop that ground shot no problem because it's such a slow shot and not much power into it so in those situations you just want to take a power shot regardless of how close you are because you'll catch him off guard and you'll be able to stop him Keep in mind, though, that sometimes your goalie, if you're playing defense, your goalie by himself will rush out a little bit. So make sure you understand if he's going to rush out to take the ground shot. If he's not, to not take the ground shot, take a power shot. I really want to appreciate you guys watching this video. Check out my other tutorials. I got a defendant tutorial. I got two dribbling tutorials over there. On the right, you can click to see my Division 1 tip series where I give tips every episode. And then down below so you don't miss out on any of my future content. Thank you, guys.